Hi, it's Sam the Oil Man, and today I'm doing the siege. That's right, I've pre-recorded the episode and put it up at my normal upload time, but here's the progress. Uh, so I was on the Futurama Island and they took it out. And uh, you can see there, okay, they're doing pretty darn well. Let's just have a quick look at how many people have fought. 39 of their players have fought. Now, here's why they're winning. They took one island and fought it and killed it. Then they took another island and fought it and killed it. Then they took another island and fought it and killed it. And us, on the other hand, you can see the scores there. There's a big scatter of scores. I mean, Armed was our target island, but people have been going drunk, people going King of the Hill, and people going Futurama. Uh, so I'm going to go and start the armed f Oh, quickly. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's right. I'll start the armed fights here. And then I'll talk about why we're losing and why we've had this big scatter. And and some strategies, a uh, swole strategy that, that worked well on, on us. So to win the swole club, you need to, one, be organized as a guild. So we developed a strategy... Uh, I think I'll go with a power card here. Armed power card. We developed a strategy, but our guild didn't follow it. They didn't check in on Discord to check what the strategy is. Ouch! Back to school, Stan. Um, well, it is armed, so let's get more armed in play. See how this works out. It might work well, it might not. I think it'll be okay. Yeah, we'll be okay. Um... Yeah, so number one thing, uh, I guess I'm mostly here talking to my guild now, and if you're not in my guild, that's all right. You can see behind the doors of, of, of Wenglish, and that is always, always, I mean, it might be the same in your guild, um, but always check in with your guild on what your strategy is in the siege, because if you want to be a high ranking in the siege, you must follow that strategy absolute must uh ouch hatchet boom power and student fry is taking a beating there but with super dance squad i think we can take it yes we can um so what was i saying um so some of the strategy that they've used okay so they only had like five people on their king of the hill island and six people on their Futurama island. And what they were doing, we picked it. We absolutely picked it, is they were baiting us. And what do I mean by that? What I mean, oh, f 40 on King of the Hill. I mean, they have their absolute best players on those decks. They are super hard decks. Both King of the Hill and Futurama, very hard to beat. And obviously people in the guild haven't checked in we ha uh, to our Discord to find out what to do. Or they haven't. It's possible it was a little too scattered to, for them to see what, what the strategy was. But in any case, um, it's up to the other, um, the rest of the guild to, to try and sort this out. Because it's 2 a.m. when the siege starts uh, at my time. So I, I can't really control it what what the plan is um and so a lot of people just went and fought they fell for the bait and they went and fought futurama and they went and fought king of the hill thinking great we've got these islands and then they got smashed what should i do here maybe i should oh badminton roger does have a, a hijack against my craze um Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll do it. Uh, yeah, uh, I will. I'll do Tom Landry Middle School to start here. And then I'll do one of my favorite combos. I'll do Freshman Chris. Big wall, big punch. There we go. Tough choices here. We'll do some Eugene against the cock gun. Uh, yeah, so uh, we, we, were lace, uh, we wasted many fights. Ouch, the whale killer is going to hurt. Many, many fights, uh, fighting matches that, that we were never going to, like, properly be able to win anyway. Um, Burger Mascot, great, I'm going to get enough health. 
uh, at least to not die right away. And with that motivate, uh, I think we're going to be okay now. I think we can super motivate. Oh, with the wall, we're not going to take any more damage from the whale killer. So we're sweet. Yes. Nice. The motivate won us. That one. Great. Uh, so I'm just completely losing track of my thoughts. <laughs> I had this whole plan to talk about those two islands, King of the Hill and Futurama. Anyway, our idea was let um, the, the lower players in the guild take out this island here, that the, the one they took out, and then take out armed, because um, they were the easiest islands. And then we we're going to see where we were at at that stage and have the top players, uh, probably five or six of them, try and take out either King of the Hill or Futurama. Um, but it didn't work out that way. Now those players are required to take out arms um, because the easier players fought the hard matches and basically wasted their matches. Uh, okay, here we are, Bender. So we've got some players that we know did this. They didn't consult with uh, with the, the guild, with the officers, before doing their fights, and they made the naughty list. The naughty list is not a kickable... Like, this is not a kickable offence. It's just naughty. Um, the only kickable offence is not playing. So those people who played and played silly... Absolutely, they're tons, miles ahead of those who don't play. Uh, not playing is absolutely a kickable offence, especially since we've got people in the Discord Wenglish waiting room waiting to get in. Uh, here we go, balloon snipers, armed, great, that'll, that'll do the trick. And yeah, so people in the Wenglish waiting room waiting to get in. If you want to join Wenglish, you can join the Wenglish Discord waiting room. Uh, the link should be in the, des the description of the video, hopefully. Uh, let's make Slay tonight here. That, that should do the trick, too. I put Burger and Fries Louise down because I forgot that... It, I mean, it's a great card. It's doing the trick. But I forgot that it's not armed and this is armed. And it's just such a good card. <clears throat> anyway. Um... So yeah, so basically as a guild, we need to be more organized and go systematically at least pick two islands at the start because at this stage, you're going to take out two islands, you know that, and let people decide one of those two islands to go for. But we should not have any score on King of the Hill or Futurama um, at all, or, or maybe one point on each of someone scouting just to check if they're as hard as we thought they are, which they are. So don't fight those islands. Check in with the guild. Okay. Um, armed again. Attack. These are, these are tough matches. They are tough matches. Don't in armed. But I mean, they're tough matches everywhere. So uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I mean, they're supposedly they're easier than the King of the Hill or Futurama. So. Hmm, tough choices now. We've got long stick with Louise, so let's put down Louise and let's see what our armed uh, combo here is. It is the Sour of Revenge. I'm going to make that the feature combo. The Sour of Revenge. Well, we're not going to be taking revenge on the Animation Asylum. They've done very well against us. We may have our revenge another day, but this is our feature combo for now. We've got a Recover, a Cripple, and a Gas. Uh, tons and tons of defense and a nice bit of attack there. Enough that it will take everything down. Now against the cock gun, what should I do? I guess, um, oh yes, this is definitely what I should do. We'll put down Antichrist. And it's been a while since I've played this, but I love this combo. Chris's pimple with the cripple all, oh. and it's also got the hijack. So hijack versus hijack results in nothing special. Okay, Longhorn Bobby. What are we gonna do with Longhorn Bobby? I think we're gonna do Bender, 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 and hope that we get an armed card. And if not, we'll make Red Rodriguez too real with that punch. Uh, 
a couple things can happen. Look at that with the recovery on both Sour of Revenge and Chris's Pimple. I've totally got this match. Totally got it. There we go. There we go. Continue. So, I guess the lessons learned is, is have your guild strategy. Um, if you're going to bait the other team, their baiting worked very well. The, we've... Our people in our guild fell for it. We wasted too many matches with people going, King of the Hill's so low, I'll fight that, and not following our strategy of taking down armed attack. I mean, yes, they're not easy matches in armed, but, I mean, really. Anyway. Um, if you, anyway. We, we've lost this one most likely. I think the chances of a comeback now are very, very slim. But uh, let's see what happens. So we can make gingerbread guns can only combo with fries. Um, so I might put fry down first just because it has the payback. And that way Peggy can get paid back. Ouch! Paddling Peggy. It's alright. We're going to make Congo Jack. Is that going to do the trick? I don't know that it will. Um, it's not really the most favorable abilities against Paddle and Peggy. At least it's got a ton of cripple all. Uh, and I'm going to fix that with the Eugene. Just give it a bit more motivate and that should do the trick too. Yes, and it did the trick perfectly. Uh, we'll put down a Bobby to get some punch in play because Eugene is about to die. Oh, not this turn though. And we can make Egg versus Tornado and that bomb won't work this turn. But hopefully it will work next turn. That recovery did work. So we can take out Stan and this one's mine. Yes, yes, we took out everyone. Oh, perfect. So, yeah. Um, I'm sure I have more to say about this, the strategy, but I think I got my point across. If you have any questions about that, just put it in, in the comments. And if you're in my guild and you're not on the Discord server, and you want to be, uh, definitely let me know and we can get in touch in the guild chat in game and get you the discord link uh, because that's where we chat that's where we come up with our strategy so what are we gonna do robot house sex ed Peter bender 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 um, Rogers closets decent oh doomsday device because it's armed Blah. <laughs> and we've got plenty of combos that we can uh, put on Doomsday Device, like Bender's Weapons. It's got more It's got more bomb than Captain Yesterday, so let's do Bender's Weapons. Uh, two hits and Captain Yesterday's down. I'm going to get bombed, but that's okay. I'll put down... I think I will put down Gingerbread Guns. Uh, it's going to have a little bit of a boost. They're being armed. And now, can I make anything with Gingerbread Guns? I cannot. So Bender... Bender, 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 go to Bender. Uh, and then there we go, we can make Chris's Pimple also armed. Cripple everyone, nine points, and this match is mine. Boom, boom, and dead. Oh, uh, one more round before they're dead. That Bender's weapon um, is actually not bad at all. Actually not bad at all, but we made Super King just for fun. Gun Safety Peter didn't get a shot off because he was too safe. There we go, and it looks like the coin bonus, I'm not sure if it's actually applying to... Oh no, it's only in the arena and the... Is it? Is it just the arena and the adventure mode, or is it everywhere? I'm not sure. All right, keep going, attack. So, hopefully, ho well, I mean, we'll take down this arms island, um, and then I... Not sure where, I mean, as a guild, I mean, if I've had to fight armed, I doubt we'll be able to take out the other islands. But maybe we'll get lucky. We'll see how many people are left after we actually take down armed. Um, and we're going to open with an armed card, being Hatchet Boomhauer. And then I'll open with another Hatchet Boomhauer. There we go. Great. The Tartars is perfect because it's only got 10 attack, which is going to mean my Hatchet Boomhauer is going to get super motivated up. Excellent. And against the unexpected weapon, Weapons, uh, this is working perfectly. Book of Spells can combo with just about everything. Such a versatile card. 
We can make the Louise scissor hands, the sandwich, Devil Hank. Uh, we don't get any uh, disguise bonus here, but with that punch, how can you not play the devil? There we go. Doomsday device for the win. Those hatch two quad hatchet boom hours, plus a jewel. Um, I mean, that's so good having all those from my arm deck. If I didn't have all those hatchet boom hours, my arm deck would only be. I mean, it would still be good, but only so so. And attack. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. We've got Philip J. Fry, and we've got Bender Bender Bender, and Long Stick, and a Hatchet Boom Howard. Great, Hatchet Boom Howard it is. Uh, oh, ouch, that's going to hurt. Well, let's play my Long Stick and get some punch in play. Um, and that, that Cripple as well, that's really going to hurt. Uh, hatchet Boom Howard, can it do the job? It will just because the cripple went too long stick. I was concerned for a minute there. And with egg versus tornado. Oh, look at all that health. Uh, we can make slay tonight or we can make... Oh, chainsaw Hank. Yes. No choice there. Chainsaw Hank it is. And after this, Hatchet Boomhauer doesn't need any help. And I'm glad I played Chainsaw Hank because look at that. He played Chainsaw Hank. Mine was down first, so mine got crazed up. Victory, nice, 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 and there we go for the continue. So, what's next? Next, oh, armed. I think I've still got two attacks left. Yeah, two attacks, just as planned. Um, and then what will it, what will I do after this? Um, I think I have to do my challenges, and then we'll just keep farming coins. I've got, I think, five more hours until the coin farming finishes. Uh, which means when you're watching this, the coin farming is finished. I hope you got lots of coins. Lots and lots of coins would be good. Uh, we'll go with the Antichrist there, but that Penguin Conservator is a big one. Pretty hard. Look at all the punch on the Penguin. Okay, and I can make Freezer Burn, and hopefully the uh, Cripple goes on to the Penguin. Let's see. Let's see where the Cripple goes. At least we can um, heal. Is it going to go for Futurama or Armed? Great. Heal all on Armed. That's going to help. I'm going to need that. And we did. We crippled the Penguin Conservator. That's the only thing that's going to let me be in this one. It is a tough match here. It is a tough match. All right. And we've got tough choices to make, but I think I'll make the long stick. Yep, we're going to take out the Penguin Conservator, and hopefully... Um, yeah, I'm going to gas the Gun Safety Peter out, so that we're okay, we're okay. We're still in this. And we make... Oh, the Grill Cook's not armed. So that's, that's an interesting... This is one of the few combos that you can make where... Long stick and Tina, um, an armed card, and a, a fairly certain it's not armed. In fact, I'm gonna win, so let's uh, let's check. Yep, not armed. Uh, one of the very few combos that you make where before there uh, there's a trait and after there is no trait, but it makes sense because Grill Cook is not armed. I think that might be one of the original combos um, in the game. I, I mean, I don't really know because I never had the opportunity to make it. But I think it was one of the originals um, in the game before they really uh, built the traits properly like how it is now. And I think that's why you have a trait card going to a non-trait like combo. But we've got pretty much all characters. We'll go with Hatchy Boomhauer and with our wall breaker, perfect against Peter. And perfect against Drunk at the Clam. Uh, then we'll get our Stewie down. So we can get that extra punch in play. Ouch. Stewie and Sculpture Peter. Um, I don't know that anything's going to help me much there. Other than playing another Hatchet Boomhauer. Um, fortunately we're going to take out Drunk at the Clam. Fortunately. Only because we have the Wall Breaker. Perfect Wall Breaking and Broken. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. So let's see what we've got. Great, we've got a nine shields going. 
And that's because Bobby has a shield of three and Stewie gives a shield of six. Um, what next? Oh, okay. Pan Flute Stewie is going to keep me alive. Yes, it is. Definitely need Pan Flute Stewie. Get that extra health uh, going. And the bomb, well, just for fun, but the leech, health, health leech there is what's going to help me take out Sculpture Peter. And by this stage of the game, I think it's all over for Peggy to make any difference. Uh, and we're going to bomb Peggy out anyway. Peggy's bombed. And there we go. All done. Well, for a nice victory there. I mean, it was it was looking a bit iffy there at the start, but uh, took them out for 10 victories. I can see how people would think that that is a tough match in our guild for some of the players. Absolutely a tough match. But we're this high up, the Animation Asylum at rank 115, they know what they're doing and we were not organized enough with our strategy as a guild to be able to win. You really have to have at least 40, if not 45 people acting in sync with your guild strategy to really get into that top 100. Uh, we, and we've done it before and when it works, it works well. But unfortunately, we had too many people on the naughty list. So, there we go. Armed did not go down. Uh, well, I mean, it went down. Armed is now at 40. It's lower than, than King of the Hill and Futurama. So hopefully people jump in and fight armed. We must take it if we're going to have any shot. I, I mean, once we take armed, we get a bonus of 1,000 points. They're going to take drunk and get a bonus of 1,000 points. I don't know. It's going to be close. If we can take out... I don't know. I'm, I'm writing it off. I think we've probably lost. We'll know... I'll know by this time when you're watching um, this episode, and I'll show you in my next episode what the final score was. But there it is. Wanglish and Animation Asylum. Well done to the Animation Asylum for doing a perfect guild strategy and there's the siege there is the siege next the rumble it says is coming soon so i bet we've probably got two days to recruit between the siege and the next thing uh if oh that's what i was going to do i was going to do the naughty list and set, show who's how many have played all right going down to the bottom here we have 40 people that have played uh, there's some of the stronger players at the bottom that have only done a couple matches. Um, we did had a couple of them go in and test King of the Hill and test Futurama, I believe, at the very start. One fight on each just to check how hard it was. And, um, yeah, it's hard, but they're all saving for the end because we wanted our high-level players to take out king of the hill if and then and then if possible futurama or or futurama instead uh but we have to take armed we must take arms we need at least four more people to take armed uh anyway good luck guys hope you can do it now who's on our naughty list i've got uh some names here i just had to find them okay trishi5291 uh, is on the naughty list. Then we have Kai Verity also on the naughty list. And then we have, uh, there's one more, Archer is also on the naughty list for fighting against the guild strategy or before checking the guild strategy. Um, you fought, which is better than better than those that, ha that haven't, but um, it is naughty to, to go against the guild strategy. Um, okay. Let's go back. And what else do I have to do? Challenges. Challenges. Next. Uh, let's get back out of here. Challenges. Um, what am I going to do? Brian's Crush. Ch oh, change deck. <laughs> deck. Here we go. And just as a reminder, everyone uh, who has built their uh, deck, I hope you're, you're the character that you're using. Um, I mean, you don't need to use Tina because you don't need a perfect score. So use someone that can 
deal a decent amount of damage. Some punch is great. Uh, change deck. And then for those, for your, the siege defense, siege deck that you've built, uh, definitely use a defensive character who, who's got punch and or payback. Uh, there's no reason to leave your siege deck with Tina. And this will, same thing will go when we get going in the rumble again. Okay, I've got my deck. There we go. My disguised uh, musical deck, which I'm very happy with this deck. Get into the challenges. Brian's Crush. Fight. I'm pretty sure I already picked my feature combo there, so no need to do another one right now. But we've got lots of Mythic Leela features coming soon. Coming soon. Uh, let's open with Fry. We'll open with Fry here. Yep. And then we'll go with our... Ooh. We're actually going to go with our Equestronaut costume next. We do want to try and get perfect score. Ah, interesting. I could do Clobberella, but that won't actually take out Van Boonhauer. I could also do Sister Peter, but that's not going to help me there. But what... Oh, maybe I should be doing Clobberella. Because um, at least I'll get the a nice health leech going. There we go. Clobberella it is. Oh, and it worked because of the bonus cheers, which is basically plus 50% attack. And then we'll do Fry and Robot Disguise. A wall, leech, plus bonus leech. So much leech. Perfect three points. Um, we're far too early to be getting less than three points. And, it, you know, it's possible, actually, that I could get a full, the second match to a full set of points. Um... I think I could do really well in this this particular challenge. Uh, okay, here we go. We're going to open with Disguise because we get that leech. Oh, a Heckler Zoidberg. Interesting. Well, we go Red Riding Stewie. Uh, we're not going to take out the Heckler Zoidberg. And I think we're actually okay as is with the wall and the leech. I think we're okay. So maybe... I should get some Equestronaut costume down. There we go. There we go. And now, uh, Red Riding Stewie still isn't quite good enough. Um, but we need to get that health leech up. Otherwise, that Heklazoidberg with the, with the craze is going to just do too much. Too much damage. Um, and what now? We've got a Eugene here. Eugene to give some motivate to the Equestronaut costume. I want to do a combo to give a nice big boost to Red Riding Stewie, but at the same time, I don't want to do too much. I'm going to win this turn now anyway. So I don't want Red... Uh, am I going to win this turn? Hold on, he's going. Eugene attacks 24... Um, I can win, but do I want to? Will I get enough? I can't do any more combos. Or oh, I could do that combo. That's a nice uh, combo. Mascot race. Um, I'll lose all the mo all of that motivate onto the Equestronaut costume. Is that a big deal? It might be. Oh, I don't know what to do here. My attack actually goes down, which is interesting. Ah, uh, but my Stewie will get his attack up, so let's take the risk, and let's, um, let's go another round. No, I shouldn't, no, I shouldn't go another round. Let's do another Eugene, and Eugene will finish it for me. We're going to go for the win, and hope that the leech on both of those cards is enough. Let's see, Red Riding Stewie, where do you go to? Uh, okay, you win, yes, full health, and full health, yes, we get a full plus three. I think I was stressing out over there of all that over way too much. It doesn't actually say what your leech is, or I, and I don't know, the, this deck is too new to me to know exactly how much health is their maximum health for these combos and cards. So it's tough to know. Is it going to be the full plus three? All right, here we go. Open with our disguise card, Book of Spells, and with the punch... 
Uh, that punch is great. And then we'll go with a Rogers Closet. Um, so we should... Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely take out Sloam. There we are. And everything has boost and everything is disguise. Okay, Rogers Closet there. We can make a Devil Hank, which has lots and lots of leech. Book of Spells should get leeched up. Let's see. No, Book of Spells just won it before a leech could take an effect. Oops. Oops. We got a plus two. Well, it's a bit earlier than I would have hoped for. I think that was my mistake. All right. Let's see how we go this time. This time we go and we get Hank. Hank, Hank, Hank. Oh, we have a, oh, it's a armed. I was like, yes, an armed card, but no, we, we, we want disguise cards now. So maybe I should put down Tina. Tina has some leech. Oh, a quarterback Hank. Ouch. All right, let's see what happens next. Okay, Eugene will take out Rupert. Will Tina take out Boomhauer? 20. Tina will not quite take out Boomhauer, but if we make the sandwich, at least, at least we can use some cripple and we can get that leech going to get her back up to full health. And she's going to need another go to get full health, especially with an attack like that. And can I make Eugene? No, I can't make Eugene disguise yet either, so gonna have to do something there to get that health back up too. Oh uh, no, and we don't get another disguise card, so we're not going for a perfect plus three. Oh well. Never mind, never mind. Victory for plus two. So much for um, doing super well and getting my plus threes all the way through. Normally, I'm not ending the plus threes until the sort of mid 40s so I'm actually doing it earlier than I normally would but I mean that's just a testament to how hard your opponents can be with um is it or maybe I'm just not maybe the deck's not as good as I think it is okay we've got options there wow poplar activist massive what should I do what should I do? I'll do the witch's costume. It's got some a good attack, and then we'll make Devil Hank. And look at all that leech now. We should be good. We should be good. And then throw in a book of spells. And a question not costume, I think, can heal itself back up. Yep. And we're going to get plus three here. A big plus three. <clears throat> and therefore, the win. Victory, victory, victory continue with my battle rewards all right what's happening next next we're gonna fight <clears throat> excuse me and next we are going to touchdown dance and book of spells roger's closet Roger's Closet has a lot of defense. Let's go, uh, let's go Book of Spells. Now, do you like watching my um, first impressions? Make sure you check out the one that I did on my other channel of a new game called Walkamon. But since it's a walking game, I do all my like augmented reality outside walking game stuff on my other channel. So make sure you check that out. Okay, Bobby and... Uh, we can make Devil Bobby. We can make another Book of Spells. Let's put down another Book of Spells. And with all that punch, uh, our opponent is doomed. There we go. Nice plus three. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so I made a walk -em on uh, episode. walk -em on It's pretty fun. Um, you walk -em -ons. So, um... Remember to go check out that channel and that video. Uh, it should be linked in the description somewhere. Okay, what's up next? What should I do? Open with disguise, a Roger's closet. And then we're gonna go with a Leela. Nice Leela there with a big boost to Roger's closet. And then we're gonna go with a big devil's hank. <clears throat> Excuse me. With all that punch, can we take them both? I think we can. 
Yes, we can. <coughs> My voice is disappearing. So much for doing another episode after this. And um, now the book is spells, and I might have to end it after this episode. Um, just because I, my voice is going. This has not happened to me in a bit. Oh, I've got my tea there. Normally I have my coffee in the evening. I have a nice um, peppermint tea. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, that tells me something that I should do my recording in the morning, not in the evening. All right, there's Bob. Bob, Bob, Bob. And we'll go with, oh, got lots of, lots of options here. Uh, book of, oh, it's not my big book of spells, so we'll open with Roger's Closet. And we'll close that with a burger and fries Louise. There we go, nice. Ouch, ouch. Okay, that uh, Bandit Bob is big. So what are options? Mommy Mummy is actually quite a good option. Um... In fact, that's the option I'm going with because it becomes uh, Bob's Burgers and Mommy Mummy and Burger and Fries Louise can just go and heal each other with all those burgers. But they got another card down. So we'll have to go with a book of spells. There we go to combat that and hope that what... Oh, it's not going to get another turn, is it? I don't think it is. Well, we made Fry and Robot Disguise, so if it does get a turn... No, I was right. B B Burger and Fries Louise is going to take it home. Big time. Ah, uh, well. Plus twos. We're up to 50 Wonder Wolf coins. Actually, how's my Wonder Wolf coin count going? Um, rankings? Oh, no, not rankings. We want to go look in shop. 27,000. That means there's a good chance that I'll be doing those 15 um, super epic pack opening very, very soon. Very soon. Great. A disguise card to open, the witch's costume. Oh, he's gone disguised as well, and I do not have another disguise card. Uh, so what should I do? I should go Hank? Or should I go Bobby? I think I should go Hank, actually. My quad Hank, to, so it can take some hits. Oh, no. Not another one. Um, now this time we'll have to go Bobby. We can't... Uh, excuse me. We can't uh, take too many more hits on Hank. We need to make Hank disguised now. And we cannot do that. He's going to have to be armed. Chainsaw Hank it is. Chainsaw Hank will take out the Burger Wars. But, um, yeah, oh, he died, but I think that's a bad thing. I think that's a bad thing. Uh, we can make Louise scissor hands here, but that American Gigolo has got um, some decent options there. Maybe I'll play down Blurns Ball, actually, or, or Batter Up Bobby? Blurns Ball, actually, let's play Blurns Ball here. It's got some Motivate. Hey, that worked really well because of all the punch. And this time we'll do Dodgeball Louise, and with all that cripple. Um, and this time, oh, I was going to hope we got an armed, but there's a Longhorn Bobby. And that's, that's the game, just a plus two. A nice plus two, but a plus two. And uh, how many more fights have we got to go? Because my voice is dying. Dying, dying, dying. Uh, one more fight, cool. And then we're going to automate the other challenge. And then those challenges are done. Okay, loading, loading, loading. Here we go. So there's Stan. And we're going to go, what are we going to do? Louise? Bur uh, disguise, Bergen Fries Louise. There we go. Follow it up with, um, follow it up with another Louise. And at least Bergen Fries Louise can heal up normal Louise. Uh, not, oh, a Clobberella. I was about to say, don't worry, we're not going to take much damage. But Clobberella is going to damage the damage easies out of us. So Bunny Costume is an option. I'm actually thinking of going with Bobby to start here, get some punch in play. Rely on all the, the burgers to heal up Louise. Good, it worked. 
and hopefully the punch can help us take out Clobberella. Get some more... Oh, here's an option. Balloon Sniper. Um, you know what? I might, I might do that. Because we need all... Oh, yeah. No, I will. We need to take out Clobberella one way or another. Um, and that's probably... Or the other option is I can make Louise Scissor Hands. 16 attack versus 18 attack. But here we have 19 punch as well. So Balloon Sniper it is. Balloon Sniper. Yes. And with all the punches it, and the bombs, it worked. Can we get healed up enough? I think we can. We might get a full... I think we're going to do it. A full plus three win. Yes, we have. Happens unexpectedly sometimes. Uh, I wasn't sure how I was going to do that. And I did. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And that finishes it. So we're doing well there. We're up to 57 points after two matches. Very good there. We've got three and a bit days left on Brian's Crush Challenge. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to get into the hundreds with Disguise. Uh, we've got lots of plus threes there. Way more than what I would normally get at this stage. Now these ones, I can automate these. Just automate... And then they'll be done soon. Uh, and then, uh, probably since I'm losing my voice, I'll go off camera and just continue with the coin farming so that we can make plenty of 200k pulls, coin pulls. And hey, with a, hopefully with some luck, we can get more good cards. That's how you get your legendaries. Uh, if you've played this right, you've got, you should, should have been able to get at least a couple hundred thousand. Uh, if not me, I think I've managed to get about a uh, half a million worth of coins. And that should give me um, uh, some good shot at some good cards. And if not, a ton of giggity watts for upgrading all these cards. Either way, it's been very, very good. Um, well, I have got lots of tons of giggity watts and I want more. I want more. As many as I can get. Continue. And what's next? Five more fights. I'm looking forward to South Park Phone Destroyer. I still haven't managed to get to it yet, um, but hopefully today. Hopefully today I can get to that one. There's a 53, and there's what's next. Oh yeah, let's check on those coins quickly. Shop. Yep, cool. We're not going to go over with these fights. It's possibly tomorrow I'll do the pulls. Um, we'll see. But it might actually be two days' time. Um, yeah, it really depends. Because um, on the maths and everything and various possible rewards that we could get as well. Um I'm not sure when we get rewards next. I don't think arena rewards are for a couple days. Or anywhere where we get coin rewards. I don't think they're for a couple days. So that's okay. And that's about all I have to say. Which is I've still got a couple more matches to go. Um, I hope your guild has been more successful at following... Uh, some strategy in the siege. Um, hopefully we can sort ourselves out after this particular match and get our strategy back for the next siege. Um, but yeah, having players to follow that, that guild strategy, that's definitely the difference in the siege between uh, reaching the top 100 and not reaching the top 100. But everyone must fight because I think the less points that we actually pull off, the further back our ranking is going to go. So hopefully everyone's still fought and hopefully we have full participation. Because uh, I really don't want to kick people this early. But, you know, if you didn't fight in the siege, that's the one thing that, that Wenglish requires. You must fight everything. Everyone should know that by now. Anyway... Thanks for watching. That is this episode, the siege and some challenges. And we got destroyed by um, the asylum. Anyway, uh, catch you tomorrow. 
and I'll rest my voice. See ya.